Since I was a child, I've been fascinated with abandoned places. But Centralia was like no place I've ever seen before. Two houses so far, three houses. That's probably the ten people that didn't leave. This was once the thriving mine town of Centralia. They had a legion, a drugstore, even a little nightlife in this town. But now all the buildings are completely gone, with the exception of a very small handful. So what happened? Well, the town set fire to their dump once a year, which wasn't too uncommon back then, and usually the fire just burned out. But in 1962, this fire did not burn out. It hit a ribbon of coal that was lying underneath the trash pile, and then it burned down to an abandoned but not sealed off mine shaft. The fire has been burning ever since, and it's projected to burn for another 250 years. I'd imagine if you stay on the road, you'd be fine, but if you start going out into the woods and places where they said the ground gets soft, because the fire has eaten up all the wood wood shoring and tunnels and it could cave in. Okay. So I'm just staying on the roads and the little trails and stuff. You haven't seen you haven't seen that area where the road has really shifted in, have you? No. This is what's left of Route 61 that led into Centralia, now known as the Graffiti Highway. As you can see, the fire completely destroyed this road, creating steam and, as you can see, making it undrivable. Oh, and fun fact, it's said that this town inspired the Silent Hill video game. As Jay was explaining earlier, the ground here is very unpredictable. The breaking point for this town came in 1981 when a young boy was swallowed up by a hole created by the fire, only saved by holding onto a tree root while he was up to his head in hot mud. This threw the town into the media spotlight. The ground was boiling underneath people's houses, toxic gases filling their homes. The people that didn't leave voluntarily were offered buyouts from the government. Most people accepted, and they moved, and then their houses were bulldozed one by one. That's where supposedly the fires burned. So south of where we are now? No, right where we are now, I think. Yeah. How you doing, buddy? You still up there? Yeah. I think when I came here today, I expected to see a ghost town, abandoned buildings, shells of what it was. But what this felt like was far more eerie. You could tell something was here. You could feel its energy. I hope to return this winter to see if we can find any steam coming up from the ground. It's said that the fire has moved far east. Good job. As we leave Centralia, we find these, almost a silent reminder of energy's past and perhaps its future. Thanks for watching. There is so much more to this story. If you're interested in learning more, check out the documentary Centralia, The Town That Was. I'll link to it below.